Welcome to Getting Started with Google Classroom. Before we get going with Google Classroom, we're actually going to take a moment to log into Google Chrome. Even though this step is unnecessary, it can actually save you time in the long run by saving passwords that allow you to sign into multiple programs using the same login credentials that you will for Google Classroom. Simply go to google.com and look for a blue icon in the upper right that says sign in. If you already have an account, you can use another account here. And we're gonna use the Lake Worth ISD login credentials for a student. So every student in the Lake Worth ISD has specific login credentials that is based around their name. So it follows these guidelines. The first name is the first three letters only, the last name, first five letters only, and their two digit graduation year, followed by at lwbullfrog.org. So for example, the first name of the student I'll be using today is student and the last name is sample and the graduation year is 2021. Therefore, the student's login will be student sample 21 at lwbullfrog.org. All passwords follow another set of credentials, starting with a capital L and a lowercase w, followed by the student's ID or lunch number. On logging in, it's going to ask you if this is your first time logging in, you'll need to accept the Google rights and credentials. So just hit accept. And this will show your letter and your icon in the upper right hand showing that you were signed in. Now to get into Google Classroom, you can simply type in Google Classroom into your Omnibox or search bar at the top, or you can go to the waffle on the right and look for your Google applications. Classroom is usually one of the top ones that are listed, and you can simply click there. Now, when you get in, you may actually have an invitation from a teacher to join a class. A student will have a class for each course or each teacher. So in this case, a teacher has invited me to be a, point, a part, I can go ahead and click join to become part of that classroom. If a teacher gives you a code, you can simply go back. It'll give you a few help desk there. You can simply go back to all your classes and hit the plus sign to join a class in the upper right and your teacher will give you that code. It typically looks something like a combination of letters and numbers that are six to seven digits long, and you simply hit join. And you will join that classroom as well. So students can keep up with multiple classrooms and assignments by looking at their classrooms over here on the left hand side or by clicking on their Google Calendar. If they click on their Google Calendar, it will actually show them when they have assignments due. So I'm going to go into August once school starts. For example, this was the math class that I was invited to join. And here was the classroom I just joined over science. So you can keep up with, okay, I have an assignment due here for this class or here for this class. And then you can simply just go right back into your classes in whichever one that you need to work on. So they're color coded as well. You can see the green one is my science class, the blue one is my math class. And you can click on that one to go in and view your assignments. Now that you're inside of Classroom, let's learn our way around. The first tab is called the stream. This is like a social media post or a way for teachers to post announcements to students. So you can come down here, you can see that we have an announcement from our teacher. The next section is classwork. You'll notice that this class is arranged by calendar with the most recent 
defaulting to the top. So if we want to just see a specific week, we can come over here to the left under topics and click just the week we wish to see. We can also click on the assignment to get more details about the assignment. So I'm going to click here on Monday's assignment. You can see these are also organized by day of the week. This will give you the directions for the assignment. You can see here that we are going to do a virtual meeting in Zoom. So you just click on this link here and it will take you straight to the Zoom application for the student. Just close that out. It brings you right back to classroom. It also tells you that once your Zoom is over, you have another ass assignment to complete. That shows up right over here under your work. So you can click on the student sample here, and this will be an example of work inside of Google Slides. So you can see in this Google Slides example that there are basically little areas that you can click and type. Once you're finished, those auto save, you can close out of that. However, it takes you right back to classroom and it is very important that you click turn in when you're finished with the assignment. This lets your teacher know that you're ready for the assignment to be graded. You go back to the classwork page, you'll now see that the assignment we just completed is now gray. That means that it has been turned in, so you need to work on the assignments that are still colored. So if we go to the next assignment, you can see here it's going to give me a brief example. I can go ahead and view assignment for more details. It's going to give me another assignment. This is an example of where all of the links are embedded into the assignment themselves, kind of like you're going to do this step first, this step second. These can take you to external applications as well. So we can go out to other programs and work on those. Again, just close the tabs when you're finished, those auto save. It is very important to click turn in when you're finished. If we come back to our classwork yet again, we'll see that we have another one here that's just an example. There is nothing actually for the student to do, but this one is set up in different steps so that they can click and go through different slides. But in this one, what I want you to look for is in view assignments, it'll just say mark as done. This often happens when we're just showing PowerPoints or PDFs that we want the student to read. But it's still important that you let us know that you read them or that you viewed them. So come back, mark as done. I hope you enjoyed your quick tutorial of Google Classroom. Thank you for joining us.